Hi folks, I'm Rich Congdon and I'm the uh, garden or the system manager for the Cedar Falls uh, Lions Diabetes Learning Garden. Now that's a long title, but it's be, uh, we have it that way because this garden is specifically to teach diabetics uh, about nutrition and about movement in the garden. That is one of the one of the ways to combat diabetes is to have good nutrition and good exercise and so we're combining both of those here. Lions have long been involved with vision uh, and vision screening and kids sight programs but since uh, diabetics um, uh, is one of the uh, affects your vision the lions have got uh, have, have become involved if, with uh, uh, gardening and um, with the diabetes and uh, and that is one of our five focus areas so that's why we are involved in it we built this garden in connection with unity point to teach people uh, who are diabetics or predisposed diabetics about the fun part of gardening the exercise that's involved and the good nutrition you can have from growing your own plants so we have a garden here that, that uh, I designed and built and with the help of my Lions Club members, we uh, maintain this garden. We're in our third year and uh, we're looking to expand this now. We've been asked by Unity Point to uh, expand this project and, uh, and so that we can teach more people how to garden. I will tell you that if you are a diabetic anywhere around and wanna know more about gardening, uh, just show up at our gardening uh, classes that we hold um, and you are welcome to come if you if you volunteer to help us uh, with some maintenance in here a little bit you get to share into the harvest I'm here in the tomato section which everybody loves and here's some of the things that we teach you about uh, the gardening first of all there are about 10,000 different varieties of tomatoes but we teach you things about uh, how to, how to uh, rack your tomatoes and grow your tomatoes. We teach you things about pruning tomatoes. You see this, this Y here, this is a sucker. This will only produce vegetation. And one of the things with tomatoes, you want to create air flow to minimize the uh, fungus and the d disease. So we remove these Y branches as much as we can. There'll come a time when we won't remove them because we want to keep them to help protect the uh, tomato, the fruit, because um, if you don't have some leaves to cover the fruit, uh, you run the risk of sun scald. So we have here a variety of tomatoes. We have the big boys, we have the big super beef steaks, um, we have the um, uh, the small um, small ones on the other side, but we have Rutgers, which are is a primarily a determinate tomato, and you know there's a difference between determinate and indeterminate. Determinate means that within about a four week period, the fruit all uh, uh, comes on the vine and is ready to be harvested, and then the plant is done where the indeterminate will bring you fruit from the time it starts producing until you have the first killing frost. And so it depends what you want to do. If you're going to make salsa or juice, you want the determinate. If you want table um, uh, tomatoes for your BLTs and your hamburgers, then you want the indeterminate. And you want the little um, <coughs> Rutgers or Jet Stars uh, or, or do you want the big, the big honking ones? But I'll tell you, the big ones, the plants don't produce as many, but you get a much bigger fruit. You can get up to a, a pound and a half to two pound fruits. Whereas with the little ones, uh, they're more of a little bit of, of a tomato.